Stephen Rolls, analyst at CFC Seymour. Thanks so much for joining us today, Stephen. Listen, uh, the dollar weakness that we're seeing persisting today as well is not really letting up. Uh, what exactly is going on in, in trading today? Well, I think what's going on is we're looking at the equity markets across Asia, and uh, that's really being reflected in uh, concerns of uh, the subprime cur concerns and overall growth concerns in the U.S. are uh, coming through in the, U in the equity markets, and that's uh, pulling down the dollar a little bit more today as well. Is this, could this have anything to do with the FOMC minutes that came out uh, you know, two days ago where basically the Fed uh, downgraded its forecast for next year? But at the same time, uh, how did you read that statement? Does it mean the Fed is going to cut rates in December or not? Because the market seemed to be expecting a rate cut now. Yeah, it, it was quite an interesting uh, uh, statement to read. And uh, going through it, um, what we really picked out from it was that uh, we do think that they will now cut rates in December. but. We don't really think that they want to, but we think that they will because they really focused on the downside risk of growth. So by focusing on the downside risk of growth and lowering their inflation expectations, that has really brought uh, uh, cuts um, to the forefront in December. But uh, looking ahead, but we still think that in the first quarter, we, we think that the subprime concerns will um, alleviate a little bit and uh, that inflation concerns will come back into the picture. So we think that... Uh, there won't be a string of cuts like some people in the market are saying, but we think that uh, one cut in December should should be enough to offset some of this uh, concerns on the growth concerns. And so then would you be still advising your clients right now to sell dollar? Uh, depends on their on their long term uh, prospects, but but I do see a rebound on the dollar as I, I think that uh, once uh, the jitters in the subprime markets have uh, fade away a little bit in the first quarter I think that we'll see stronger return to the to the dollar and uh, just really l looking at the overall US economy and, and the gr growth data that has come out recently is a lot stronger than uh, the, the market indicates right now so we think but, but that, before, uh, that, before that rebound though Stephen I mean dollar yen for yeah. example is at 108 uh, I think 68 as we saw here on the charts you know with this sort of unwinding of the carry trade that you're suggesting that we're seeing in the markets today I mean how low could we see dollar yen go before this rebound occurs yeah it, it's the ultimate question today but uh, it, it could have hit all the way down to 105 but we still see that the carry trade continuing and simply because of you can borrow it in uh, Japanese and you can go right to Australia and, and get one year money close to 7%. So huge opportunities right now I think in the currency markets and uh, that's looking at Korea, looking at Australia and looking at the US. I, I see strong rebounds coming up mm -hmm. as we uh, near the end of the year here. Okay, uh, what is the one trade you'd recommend to your clients now? Uh, I would go... In the short term. In the short term, I'd go uh, go with Australia. I think that after the election on the weekend, that we should see a bit of a rebound, and uh, with more focus on uh, inflation concerns, we'll we'll bring further rate hikes back to the table, and uh, fundamentals will come back in the Australian dollar right now. Okay, and then just also, if I can, very quickly, uh, would any talk by central banks around the world, like the ECB, for example, or the BOJ, uh, do much to sort of uh, stem their currencies rise against the dollar? You think, or is that pretty much ignored by traders right now? Well, yeah, I think traders are more focused on the volatility of the markets right now, and Sarkozy is the one who's sort of led the campaign against the U.S. dollar. But uh, it's, it's more verbal intervention. I, I don't really see it uh, affecting the markets too much right now. All right. Stephen, a pleasure as always. Thanks so much for joining us. Great, Stephen Rolzer, analyst at CFC Seymour, joining us live.